Right now, flying silently over your head, there's a school bus-sized time machine taking portraits of the universe. It's called the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble doesn't snap selfies. It catches ancient light. Light that's been traveling for thousands, millions, even billions of years, finally landing on a detector the size of a pizza box. That's wild. You've seen the pictures. The pillars of creation, towering clouds in the Eagle Nebula, where stars are literally being born behind curtains of dust. The colors aren't just pretty, they're codes. Hubble uses filters to isolate elements. Oxygen glows teal. Hydrogen hums red. So we can read the chemistry of a star nursery like a weather map. There's the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. It looks like sprinkles on black velvet. Every sprinkle is a galaxy, not stars, galaxies. Some so faint, their light left before Earth even had oceans. That image is a family photo of the cosmos when it was a toddler. The Whirlpool Galaxy? A spiral with a pink frosting of star formation at the arms. The Sombrero Galaxy, perfect rim of starlight. The Veil Nebula, like torn silk from a supernova's last breath. These aren't paintings. They're data translated into a language our eyes can understand. Here's my favorite trick. Gravity lenses. Space itself bends. Hubble sees galaxies warped into little arcs and rings. A massive cluster in front is curving space-time like a magnifying glass. The universe is literally helping us zoom. Hubble launched in 1990. It had a blurry start, like forgetting your glasses, then humans fixed it in orbit. Boom, clarity that changed our textbooks. It measured the expansion rate of the universe more precisely. It found supermassive black holes at the hearts of galaxies. It showed us that the quiet dark between stars is actually busy with structure and story. When Hubble looks out, it also looks back. So when you look at a Hubble image, you're seeing time stacked on time. The colors, physics, the shapes, gravity, feedback, radiation doing a billion year dance, and somehow all that leads to us, watching from a tiny world, feeling big feelings. If you've ever felt small under the night sky, remember, the atoms in your blood were forged in stars like the ones Hubble photographs. You're not separate from this. You're the universe learning to see itself, with a little help from a telescope that refuses to blink.